<laughs> Yo, I'm not even making it through the weekend before people confirm my readings. Oh my gosh, y'all. Before I even get started, Grand Rising, good afternoon and good evening. Whatever time you click on this reading is the right time for you. And I thank you in advance for your viewership and support. Now, baby, listen, I just did the wanna be versus gonna be reading, which was a reading on Cardi's verse towards Bia and what the energy would be coming out of that. And I captioned it with who's going to wear the crown. Now, that reading just went up. Um, I don't even think it's been a full 48 hours. And Bia has responded um, to get everybody up to date who might not, you know, know what's going on. Maybe you were under a rock. I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, uh, last night, Cardi B went live and she was ranting on bia for a, at least a good 15 minutes she talked about having a recorded phone call that was anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes and she said that she could possibly upload it to youtube and monetize it uh, she talked about you know having correspondence with a producer and her manager and i'm thinking to myself like what type of team does bia have that they're having so much correspondence with cardi and I even said this to someone in the DM. I'm like, is this for promo? Like, what is this? This feels very promo to me. Little did I know I was on the right path with that because I went to sleep and woke up to Bia responding in the middle of the night, literally like a thief in the night, okay? Um, Cardi fell for the overlay for the underplay. She didn't even see this coming. She set up the public interest in a potential diss track from Bia. She allowed us to hear a snippet of a song that Bia had did where she was talking about her in the song. She threatened to sue Bia if she dropped the song. And like clockwork, Bia showed up like somebody had a shot clock and she was in the last final seconds of the game and dropped the diss track, but it wasn't even the diss track that Cardi let us hear on her live. Y'all, this is bananas. This is crazy. So now that I've gotten everyone caught up, could one of you be so kind as to timestamp this reading for three minutes? And we're going to get into some things. We're going to look at the aftermath now that Bia has dropped her response called Sue Who. And y'all, the, the thumbnail of the response is literally from Offset Social Media accusing his wife of being unfaithful. Oh my goodness. Um, if you hear anything in the background, that's my dishwasher. Please excuse my dishwasher, y'all. I was in the middle of cleaning my house and relaxing. And I said, you know what? I'm going to hit the table. So without any further ado, y'all, let's get it. Angel spirit guides and ancestors of the highest heavenly order. Tap me into the energy around Bia and this diss track that she dropped on Cardi. What is the energy that's going to come after this? Please and thank you. All righty, let's get it, y'all. oh wow so we've got the ten of wands and the world which means that this puts cardi in a very hard position and cardi you know she didn't expect this response especially to come as fast as it did um ten of wands is you know carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders the world represents the final ending of a cycle Okay, so it's like now she she's out for uh, blood. She wants to end Bia for dropping this track. Yeah, she she wants to lay her to rest um, as far as career wise. Two of Swords, Knight of Wands. So Two of Swords is the ultimate cutoff. 
you know this is that Marie Antoinette energy off with her head and when you see it with the knight of wands she wants to cut her off for discussing a knight of wands moment for those of you who don't know tarot knight of wands is the one night stand card or the here for the short term not the long term energy oh wow so yeah she she wants to bring it into you know her financial abundance for you know discussing uh this toxic energy um Mm. so let's get into some things because this is looking like cardi will lawyer up and try to sue uh angel spirit guides and ancestors show me how this is going to turn out oh baby oh <laughs> y'all you got the Queen of Swords here. Queen of Swords in the upright is a very intelligent woman. This is also the card of lawyers. And also this would be the representative of a wordsmith. Also in the upright, the Queen of Swords and Queen of um, Queen of Swords and King of Swords are truth tellers. And yeah, this is lawyers. She's lawyering up to take her to court over this accusation about the Knight of Wands. So Cardi is going to take her to court. This, um, I'm hearing cease and desist is, you know, this is above and beyond that now. Yeah, she feels that this is the ultimate betrayal. And she wants to, she wants to come for her money. She wants to come for every dime that Bia has. page of wands to the king of swords so she's looking at new actions new ideas new ways of coming about handling this um like i said the, the king of swords queen of swords represents lawyers also um she may be trying to delve into who is the king of swords behind this situation who may have allegedly helped to uh make this situation manifest the magician Yeah, be yes, you want to come for your bank. This is big bank, take little bank. This is the energy that I'm getting, Ten of Pentacles. Um, now, I remember towards the beginning of the live, Cardi had made the correlation between the Enough song and Bia, which I thought was very interesting. Now, in that song, Cardi made references to somebody let the team smash. You, you, you know, you let the homies smash and they said it was regular degular. So I find it interesting that she would drop a bar like that and then turn around and sue somebody for dropping a bar about her sexual prowess because you open the door for that if you're if you're telling us that this song was actually about Bia and not Megan. So it's kind of, you know, it's it's kind of ironic how this is playing out. Seven of Pentacles and the Lovers. Oh Lord have mercy. Seven of Pentacles and the Lovers is the card of investing for a um larger harvest. Okay. So, y'all, this is about to get deep. And I'm not talking about Shea, you know, Shea Butter Twitter puddle deep. I mean, this is about to be a thing. The magician. Okay. So, yeah, she wants to manifest her end, um, even with the line that she talked about, you know, her... Um, being into the dark arts she she wants to end her for that 
allegedly. Before I go any further, this reading is for entertainment purposes. We're here only for shits and giggles. Seven of Pentacles. So this is the as you sow, so shall you reap. And this falls under the Two of Swords. So explain to me this energy around the, you know, you, you sold into this. Because this feels like um, Cardi is saying, well, you asked for this, but Bia is like, I'm giving you everything that you gave me. I don't know what just happened, but out of nowhere, it's like my nose started running. I feel like I got allergies or something. Like literally, like my nose is tingling and itching. Three of Cups, which is a card of party and celebration and also third parties. So y'all, Cardi may be trying to figure out who all is involved in this uh, communication that brought this information to the table so that she could possibly allegedly sue everybody. Um, Nine of Wands, Eight of Wands. Okay, this is a wish fulfillment that can happen swiftly, like literally already on the phone with her lawyer. Come Monday, something could already be in the works to be um, <laughs> submitted. I am shocked, Cardi. This is, for someone who always tries to talk about you can rap and this is hip hop, this is so unhip hop of you. It really is. Especially when you told us that you were street, you were from the block. It feels it feels very police like. I can't even lie to you, sweetie. This this feels very twelve ish. Yeah, the artist. So you've got the artist that falls under the king. The, excuse me, the Queen of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Knight of Wands. So this is Bia in question. Um, usually, guys, I always talk about how this card reminds me of Nicki Minaj, but it is in the complexion of Bia. Okay. And Bia is the artist in question that has made the comments that could go before the judge, the Hierophant, that Cardi finds as a betrayal, the Ten of Swords. And this is going to be a wish fulfillment for Cardi when it comes to uh, this, this betrayal. You know, she feels like the best way to, to get her lick back is to attack her money. And she, she, you know, feels like she's standing up for herself. Seven of Wands. Like, I'm not on the block anymore. I can't just be out here fighting, so I'm going to fight in court. Yep, here it is. Seven of Wands falls under the Page of Wands and the King of Swords. So that shows me that she is possibly allegedly getting counsel and she's lawyering up and she's considering her options on how to handle this to possibly um, bring about a defamation suit. Ooh, baby. Ten of Pentacles. What is this? Two of Cups. Okay, so she wants a Ten of Pentacles out of her discussing what she um, discussed because of how it affects her two of cups. But Cardi, newsflash. This is not the Tasha K case. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck represents a card of truth. Angels, spirit guides, and ancestors, tap me into why you're showing me this card of truth. Queen of Wands, Eight of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Goodness gracious. The Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Y'all, this, I told y'all, this is about to be a thing. Queen of Wands represents someone that is high profile, someone that is considered to be one of the most attractive or the most high profile of the queens of the deck. Eight of Swords is someone who's locked in, stuck, or trapped in a situation. Someone 
who uh, even could possibly be facing jail time, Ace of Wands over, you know, um, that big D energy, okay? Six of Pentacles. So this could backfire against you, Cardi, because this is tapping me into the energy that is attached to you and Jade. And being that that case is still not handled, There, there is a correlation here. There's a direct tie here between people that know people between this situation and that situation I'm feeling. Six of Pentacles. Um, six of Pentacles on Cardi's behalf, though. It's like she's going after her to get the Six of Pentacles, to win the Six of Pentacles in a judgment, but I don't think Cardi sees a judgment coming back towards her where she may have to pay in another case. I didn't expect to tap into that. Let me, ooh, let me keep going. Six of Cups, Ace of Swords. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, Nine of Swords. This is high anxiety, no rest for the wicked, no rest for the weary, losing sleep at night over something that could allegedly be a truth, a strong truth, something that happened in the past, six of cups, falling under the two of swords and the seven of pentacles. Um, Belcalese. Everything that happens in a reading is for a reason. And I don't know where that emergency unit is going, but oh my God. We, we've we got a situation from the past, literally, that could come back to bite you because there is some type of truth here that you don't expect. It's something that you don't expect. You don't see this coming. See, this is why Bia was not a afraid to say what she said to drop what she dropped because there's something here and it's got you shook it's got you nervous six of pentacles here's that six of pentacles again and that six, uh, six of pentacles is not just about receiving a windfall like a judgment from a case it also represents uh, equal give and take so when you put that under the four of swords the ace of pentacles and the three of cups that's like a situation that happened while partying um, something that could have been a third party situation or occurrence where there was equal give and take equal participation allegedly So it's like she's coming into this knowing that, you know, Cardi's coming into this knowing that she's going to get this judgment because she feels like, you know, where's the proof? Where's the proof? Where's the proof? You don't have any proof. But um, bottom of the deck, the star, that means there's hope to something and there's, oh, Lord, um, I don't want to go but so far in this, but sweetheart, this I don't think this is what you want. I really don't. Um, and being that Bia is a Leo, Leos don't like confrontation unless they know they're going to eat like it's good food on the table. So I would be very leery of a person who I just told I was going to sue and they dropped a diss track within hours of what I said with a smile on their face. King of Pentacles falling under the artist. So all this is going to do is going to, it's going to build anticipation and hype actually around Bia once everything comes out attached to this Four of Wands. Oh my gosh. The star falls under the Ten of Swords, the Ultimate Betrayal, and the Nine of Cups. Now, the star also represents an Aquarius. 
Lord, it's getting smoky around here. <laughs> oh my God. I'm not gonna tap directly into that. If you've been following me, then you know, then you know, then you know. And this King of Wands, who represents a fire sign, um, first house um, Sagittarius, but can represent all fire signs. We know Cardi's husband is a Sagittarius. Oh my gosh. Yeah, strength and the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Okay, so strength represents the Leo, okay? And strength um, means that there was, this Leo came across something while working, okay? And it, it, it pretty much fell into her lap. And now you've got this Page of Wands over the King of Swords and the Seven of Wands. So I see now why Bia is standing her ground because it's like, I didn't go out and get this information. This information practically came to me. It fell in my lap. I need to get off into how and why the diss track was even created in the first place because there's there's a whole lot of smoke and mirrors, like a whole lot of uh, overlay for the underplay with this situation. <laughs> And Cardi, I really do not think that you realize that you fell into a promotion trap, which made it even easier for Bia to drop uh, her diss track because you thought that you were getting the scoop and it was literally hand fed to you. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the King of Wands. Um, Ten of Pentacles is like wish fulfillment, not just, you know, the one of the larger pentacles in the deck. It's wish fulfillment connected to a love relationship, like a um, soulmate relationship with a King of Wands. And King of Wands, you know, they, um, they're they about that action, but they're not always good with commitment. Also, with that lineup, it's like, you know, it was highly profitable for the two soulmates to come together and get married. But see, you got the reader here under the deck. And when you got the reader, this is someone that is highly intuitive. So I don't know if there was a consultation that, you know, may have happened that let Cardi know that this was going to be a profitable marriage. This was going to be a good idea. Or she just was intuitive herself that, you know, it just made sense to her. <laughs> Oh yeah, eight of swords to the three of swords. So um, this brought swift, instant heartbreak because also, you know, you got the queen of wands here, which also represents a fire sign as well. And it, it's, this is showing me that Bia got her up against the wall there's something that, you know, Bia has, literally has her up against the wall. Because you got the Ten of Wands over the world, which means the weight of the world on your shoulders, worrying about a, a cycle coming to an end due to things that were manifested from this Queen of Wands that has you trapped, has you stuck over this Ace of Wands moment. And this came about swiftly um, and it brought heartbreak. Six of Swords, this is saying that, you know, you just wanted to leave toxicity behind in the past and move forward into happier times. And you thought that you could do that by, you know, cutting the head off the snake and watching the body drop because, hey, 
you're you're the bigger name but the seven of pentacles you literally sold into a situation that is going to grow bitter fruit because now you got the six of cups and things in the past are now being um unearthed because that's the card of things that happened in the past like mercury retrograde things that you know were behind you that come back to revisit you and this is attached to an ace of swords which is the card of truth and this is bringing high anxiety the nine of swords oh gosh so you got the reader here with the page of swords which means literally someone intuitive or it was like intuition that you know made all of this unfold or you know told you that this was going to unfold while the world was watching the empress um which is someone who gives birth to things brings things into fruition and also that represents a you know, possible alleged pregnancy. Oh, mercy, mercy. So six of swords to the eight of cups. This is like, once again, um, this could have been during a time where Cardi was deciding to move away from offset due to all the toxic energy she wanted to leave this marriage behind put everything to rest uh focus on getting her money out partying you know getting to the bag oh six of pentacles all oh, the six of pentacles is is is, is doing the watusi and i'm keeping it real cute because i'm not gonna say what that's attached to what my intuition is saying but it led to a will of fortune. And then here it is, you got the Empress, you've got the Queen of Swords, the Hierophant, the Knight of Wands, the Artist, the King of Pentacles here, and the Empress. So, you know, if we're looking at this as, you know, the conflict, um, the smoke, this is like, you know, Cardi, had you have just paid via dust, had you not have introduced this to us, the internet, while the whole world is watching, this song may not have seen the light of day. It's like you actually gave birth to the rollout for this, and now you got the wounded warrior, you know, possibly allegedly behind the scenes licking your wounds. You thought that you could intimidate and bully her out of dropping this song and it did the complete opposite which i'm not surprised because tell a leo what they won't do and watch them do it twice so seven of swords queen of pentacles y'all i'm trying to keep it so cute because you got the death card here, which is a transition through a final end that could um, come against someone's financial stability due to uh, sneaky and underhanded uh, activities, okay? And it's like, she wants to show the world that Bia is being sneaky and underhanded and she wants to come after her. The wish fulfillment is to come after her stability for betraying her. She wants to bring a final end to her, but I'm here to tell y'all that this could possibly backfire because to prove that someone is lying, there's so many other things that, you know, can be put on the table now to, you know, even show that this is not true. And this is where the Nine of Wands comes out, the Wounded Warrior. Because the nine, the nine of Wands, interesting enough, Cardi got that that song, uh, that up ten, you know, down nine, up ten. This is the card that somebody who is a fighter, who is a warrior, will not quit. So this is like two rams locking up into battle. Uh, Bia is not going to back down. 
even if you lawyer up, she's not going to back down. If you try to affect her work and tell people if you work with her, you can't work with me, it's not going to actually work the way you want it to. It's going to be a hangman. Ace of Cups, Death, The Fool. So, yeah, this is what Cardi's ultimately worried about. There can be an end of a cycle to a love relationship, which will set everyone free. And you have to go out there and, and, and be single. And literally, this falls under that King of Wands, which is that Sagittarius. It, it allegedly feels like she's worried about whatever this is uh, coming out. It will kill her marriage. Yeah. What did I just say? The hangman and knight of swords. The message being delivered is a hangman. And this is what brings heartbreak. Yeah, page of swords. Everybody watching her family, her marriage. Um, damn. This is a tower to her family unit. Independent woman ends up showing up in reverse after the Eight of Cups. So this could also affect her, uh, this could affect her immensely when it comes to her financial stability if they are to walk away from each other. And deeply, this is like the undercurrent of the feelings because the King of Cups never really wears their heart on their sleeve, but it's like that still waters runs deep. The emotions, the feelings run extremely deep. Yeah, the Fool and the Queen of Cups. Wow. Which also falls. We already got the reader on the table, so. Damn. This falls under the same role with the, the Fool and the Queen of Cups, which is like the intuitive. Somebody, you know, may have, you know, told her that this was going to happen or she felt somehow intuitively that eventually that this would happen and you know set could move on victoriously at this point oh gosh king of cups deep heavy emotions falling under the queen of pentacles so yeah she's definitely going to come after her money because of how this affects her family you know the empress on the table the emperor here bless me goodness gracious the six of wands moving on smoothly and professionally uh being ostracized being left in the cold oh wow the emperor falls under death y'all i'm gonna stop this here because the bottom of the deck is the page of cups. This is like, you know, apologetic energy. And there's something else here that I'm just not about to tap into. Because, oh, Lord. When I tell y'all this is, this is, this is a vortex. This is a rabbit hole. Um, if I was Cardi, I would not take her to court. Because to take someone to court to prove that they actually defamed you you have to prove that they defamed you and to prove that they defamed you you've got to put a whole lot of more information on the table about your personal life and the way that you move around and you may be surprised at some of the information that could be out here floating around about you know stories that people have that have to be disproven in the court of law so i'm going to end this here um yeah i do see that she is serious about taking bia to court but i do see that bia is not going to back down and bia is going to stand 10 toes on what she said um she may feel that it's unfortunate 
that this has to go that route, but there is something here. This is, my spirit guides are telling me, scratch a lie and find the truth. So with that being said, I'm going to close everything right here. Everything said in this reading is allegedly and for entertainment purposes only. Y'all have a good Sunday. I'm about to go back and, you know, cook my dinner, kick back, relax, and chill. And good Lord, 2024 is definitely 2024. And again, y'all, <laughs> that's it. This reading is adjourned. Talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye, y'all.